Yes, Gaga, you look so good. Are you taking selfies? I'm trying to see what I look like in this lighting. <laughs> Hello, I got a Hey, I'm Laith Ashley. I'm a model, activist, and all-around entertainer. So I learned about Marco through Dexter, actually. So I saw Dexter's viral video. I think it was 2016's fashion show, and he was strutting his stuff. And I was like, who is this man? I had no idea that we would eventually become friends. And then um, when I started dating Arise, it was her dream to walk Marco before she moved to Los Angeles. And I was like, let me find out who this person is. I learned about their underwear line. I still didn't know much about that scene because um, I was rather new. I didn't know what Marco looked like because in all his photos, he has his face covered. So I was like, who's Marco? I didn't know. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. But now I know exactly who he is, so I can recognize him anywhere. <laughs> when I saw the video, like the behind the scenes um, after it was edited and he said that he was a fan of me, I'm like, he knew who I fucking was. This guy's designed for all these big pop stars and works with all these amazing people. I'm like, who the hell am I? <laughs> Eventually he reached out to me to walk in, I think it was a 2017 fashion show, and I said yes. And it was probably one of the best experiences of my life. Like, it was so much fun to walk, um, so much fun to meet a lot of the queens uh, that I had watched on Drag Race before. And I remember I just wanted to look good. I was like, where's the makeup team? Get me as shiny and as like ripped looking as possible because I needed to like show up and show out. Walking in a Marco show is, it's so different from like just a regular fashion show because it's not as, as serious, you're not, I wasn't, I mean, I was a little bit nervous the first time, for sure. It's really chill. Everyone's just running around naked and I appreciate that. Um, the guys are like pumping out, trying to get, you know, as, as big as possible before they go out. The girls are getting their, their, their makeup and stuff ready and everyone in between is, you know, just doing their thing. It's not as nerve wracking and it's, it's just love. To be honest, I'm really feeling this right now. I had, I wish I had worn this in the last uh, fashion show, the All Trans one, because I, I think this is hot. <laughs> I'm just super naked. I think Marco likes to see the titties out and just everything. So thank you, Marco. So walking in the All Trans fashion show in New York, I just felt really honored to be there. And I got to meet a lot of uh, people that I had engaged with on social media that I hadn't met in person before. And it was it was really fun. And yeah, it was just, it was a great time. Oh, and my, my brother and his wife showed up too, which was a big surprise. So it was the first time they had ever seen me walk at a fashion show. And I remember my brother's straight. So he was just like, that's the gayest shit I've ever seen, but I loved it. And I was like, Thank you. <laughs> so I grew up in New York City. I'm from Harlem. I would say it's not anything out of the ordinary, but people from outside of New York would probably think that my life was pretty amazing. But uh, I just went to school, I played sports. My, my dad was always there to kind of teach me how to play sports and also uh, support me whenever I was down because I had this perfectionist thing about me. So if I messed up, whether it was academically or in sports, I would really beat myself up about it. And he was like, look, just you still have an opportunity to fix it and go back out there and do it better. And, and he kind of pushed me to do that and my mom was always also supportive through my transition obviously both of them had a hard time in the beginning but they eventually came around because they love me and I'm very fortunate for that so I start my transition as the changes start coming about people started taking notice of my appearance even more and a photographer named Nelson Castillo reached out to me and he wanted to do some portraits and I was hesitant at first because I was just I'm always like who are you and what do you want <laughs> he seemed like a cool guy I ended up going to the studio, we took some portraits, and I wanted to take advantage of that opportunity, so I, I bought uh, a pair of white Calvin Klein underwear. I was like, hey, so now that we've done these portraits, can we do some like sexy shots in these? And he was like, yeah, sure, why not? And those ended up going viral on social media, and that's how I started modeling. Advice that I would give like a young trans man that is looking into modeling and wants to model or walk in the Marco Marco fashion show is, I mean, obviously there's always this level of, of aesthetics that, that comes into play, but I think with Marco, he's he doesn't just look at the outer appearance, he's looking at all the, the unique traits that make you you and what you can bring to the table to like show off his work, you know? And um, you're showing off his work, but also you're giving, you're giving yourself and showing who you are at, at the same time. So confidence is, is important as well. I, I wasn't always the most confident. I was like a people pleaser. I wanted everyone to like me and I cared about what everyone thought about me. It takes up a lot of energy, it's super draining. And at the end of the day, like, I always say that people's opinions of you, they can change at a drop of a hat. Most of the time it has nothing to do with you, it has, it, it has to do more with them and whatever it is that they're going through. Just love yourself and show up. Ah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now it's time to get into uh, my dirty laundry. Oh my God, yes. I'm gonna grab this one because it's, it's colorful. So let's see what this one says. Marco, can I have them? <laughs> what do you wish you could tell your younger self? I can say that growing up, I didn't know what life would be. I mean, 
who does, but I, I remember thinking like, I don't know where I'm going to be because I wasn't necessarily comfortable in my skin. And for uh, a long time, I felt like I didn't want to live pa past a certain age because I, I just didn't see that for myself. I know that sounds super depressing, but that's just the reality of what it was. And I would tell my younger self that you are going to be exactly who you're supposed to be. And um, there's so much to live for. There's so many, so, so many people to, to live for as well. Like I, there's so much that's bigger than you and um, so much that you can do. You, you can affect a person's life and you don't even know that you're doing so just by being who you are. So I would tell myself that you'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is this in the box? <laughs> I'm gonna grab these because I have them. I have the shorter version. These are pretty cool. What is your biggest fear? God, we're gonna get into this. Um, my biggest fear has always been um, failure, which has changed over time, but I was so afraid to mess up. I'm okay with being vulnerable one-on-one, -on -one, but showing people like an unfinished product or if I'm working on something and, and showing that process where it, it's kind of, it's, it's not polished and put together, I was always afraid of showing that because of fear of judgment. Like, oh, you suck and you, that's, it's never gonna be this or that. And I learned that people, one, they wanna see that process because it shows that you're human and it shows that you don't just go from point A to point B without work. Everyone's always wanting to get to this, this place, like this place where I, I, say, I can say, I'm here and I made it. You get there and you're like, now what? It's about the, the journey to get there. That's what life is. So I like these two. I remember we did a shoot with these. If you were president, what law would you pass? See, with everything that's happening right now in, in politics, I'm like, this is a very sensitive subject. Um, I'll get serious for a second. I know that our current Mr. 45, I'm gonna call him that, <laughs> has tried to pass legislature that basically criminalizes um, LGBTQ people, specifically trans people, and allows for job discrimination, housing discrimination, and that all trickles down and affects everyone, not just trans people. I would make a law that federally and universally protects LGBTQ people from discrimination in the workplace and when it comes to medical care, all across the board. <laughs> you have to let me know that I'm keeping the, the midsection tight. I'm getting comfortable and like- You are fine. <laughs> Have you ever gotten too drunk during a show? I'm not too much of a drinker, so not really, but I do need some liquid courage every now and then just to loosen up, because otherwise I'm super like, I can just come off as really serious and boring. <laughs> but I'm really just in my head, like I said, outside. <laughs> I want to say, I think that I'm very, as I do this, <laughs> I am very fun. I was a go-go dancer for like a day, and that was a lot of fun, because I, I made like 200 bucks in one night, which was, I, that was really cool. <laughs> I was broke. I was just like, you know what? I'm doing this. This color against my skin, does it look nice? What is the worst drug you've ever done? <laughs> Girl, I'm like, I'm really, I'm like straight edge. Like, I swear to God. I think the only thing I've, I've smoked weed, that's about how far it's gone. <laughs> my little weed pen, my CBD pen for me to go to sleep because I have insomnia. <laughs> Leave your catch. Yeah. I, maybe? <laughs> I would be a catch, but I'm kind of like asexual, so I don't really care for anything, like. You can throw the pussy, the dick in my face, and I'm just gonna be like, that's nice. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> all lace in the back, so you see all the booty. What is the biggest lie you have ever told? <laughs> Yo, I'm honest as fuck. I'm like, what did I Did I lie to anyone? Did I lie to you, Chanel? I'm not in town. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not available. <laughs> What's something you got away with you should have been arrested for? Nothing. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a really good boy. <laughs> what are your top three turn-ons? Okay, here we go. I like confidence. I like nice legs. I tend to not make the first move. So you have to show me that you want me and you have to be persistent. I like, I like a nice booty too. Now that I've aired out all my dirty laundry and you know everything about me, and if you want to know more, just let me know. You can like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try it again. You can like, comment, and subscribe. You can like, comment, and subscribe for more Marco Marco videos. And if you want to get your own Marco Marco underwear, be sure to click the link below, marcomarcounderwear.com. Perfect. I feel like Marco Marco underwear. <laughs>